Well, Computex has barely started, but Asus has already dropped us a bombshell with this ROG phone. As you can tell from the name, this is a phone made specifically for gaming. Let's take a closer look. Now, the ROG phone is clearly a powerhouse. Not only is it powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 chipset, but it's also been pushed up to 2.96 gigahertz. On top of that, it's got eight gigabytes of RAM and a massive vapor cooling chamber running across the entire back of the phone. Now on the front, you get a six inch Full HD plus AMOLED display that runs at a faster 90 hertz refresh rate, which is meant to give you a better gaming experience. Additionally, you get a pair of front facing speakers so that you get better audio as well. On the back, not only do you get a pair of cameras plus the fingerprint reader, but you also have this ROG logo that lets you customize its RGB backlight with the app. Now what makes this phone stand out from the crowd is that not only does it have one USB port at the bottom, but it's also got two more on the side. The idea of this is that with most games, you have to hold the phone in landscape, which means the USB port at the bottom will get in the way if you want to keep it charged. But that's not a problem with the ROG phone, given that it's got these sideway ports here. So that's a very uh, thoughtful feature. At the same time, we've got a pair of the shoulder buttons that are powered by ultrasound. So you've got these two at the top, and then if you hold it at portrait, you can also squeeze the phone to trigger certain shortcuts. Now with the ROG phone, it actually comes with a whole set of accessories. This is the one that comes with the box. It's a, what they call a retroactive cooler. So you can plug it in to the side here, like that. And then using the app, you can actually turn on a fan so that you get an even better cooling feature. And at the bottom, you also see that it lights up as well to match your original RGB setting. So that's pretty cool as a gaming phone. On top of that, you also get the optional dual screen dock that lets you use the phone to play game and do streaming at the same time. So it's a bit like a Nintendo DS in a way. And then Asus has also partnered up with Gamevice to make a extendable gamepad that way so that you don't have to be tapping the screen while you're playing the game. So that you get to see more of the game as well as getting a more accurate uh, gameplay control. Now, if you want, you can have the ROG phone as a desktop setup using the desktop dock. It gives you a whole range of ports and even an SD card reader. So that once you have everything plugged in, including the monitor, you have a whole gaming setup right in front of you with a big screen and maybe even a mouse if you want to. Last but not least, the ROG phone comes with built-in Ygig support so that if you get a Ygig adapter on your TV, you get a silky smooth screen mirroring feature. Now, at the time of shooting this video, Asus hasn't quite told us the price of the ROG phone yet, but we do know that it's coming at some point in Q3 this year. So stay tuned on Engadget for everything coming from Computex 2018.